are some of the diseases that can be transmitted if biomedical waste is not disposed of properly. Here are some simple steps to be taken to avoid these hazards. Segregation Segregation is to be done at source. There are four color-coded containers for biomedical waste. Yellow, red, white and blue. The yellow container is for human anatomical waste. These include human tissues, organs, body parts and fetuses. Soiled waste contaminated with blood and body fluids are also discarded in the yellow bin. Expired and discarded medicines like antibiotic, cytotoxic drugs, including glass, plastic ampules and vials all go in the yellow bin. Clinical laboratory waste such as blood bags, lab cultures, specimens of microorganisms, live vaccines, human and animal cell cultures, tissues and devices used for cultures also go into the yellow bin. The red bin is used for contaminated recyclable waste. These include waste generated from disposable items such as tubing, bottles, intravenous tubes and sets, catheters, urine bags, syringes without needles, vacutainers with a needle cut, and gloves. The white container is used for metallic waste sharps, sharp items that may cause punctures and cuts such as needles, syringes with fixed needles, needles with needle tip cutters, scalpels and blades. The blue container is used for glass waste. In the blue bin, you can throw broken glass, contaminated glass and metallic implants. All the waste is to be collected if the bin is 3 fourth full. Personal Protective Equipment for the disposal of biomedical waste, staff members must wear their personal protective equipment. First, the boots are to be worn. Ensure that they fit properly. Next, put on the gown. One must make sure that all outer garments are covered properly and the strings secured tightly. Then, the mask is to be worn. Make sure that it is fitted correctly. Once this is done, wear the goggles provided or a face shield if one is wearing spectacles. Finally, wear the gloves, making sure that the cuffs of the gloves cover the sleeves of the gown. All staff members who are disposing of biomedical waste must follow these steps. Disposal Disposal for the yellow bin Human anatomical waste and soiled waste from the yellow bin goes directly into the deep burial pit. Chemical waste is to be first neutralized and then disposed of as chemical liquid waste. Chemical liquid waste has a separate collection system leading to the effluent treatment plant. Expired and discarded medicines shall be sent back to the manufacturer. Disposal for the red bin Waste from the red bin has to be first disinfected in the autoclave and then mutilated before being sent to the recycler. Disposal for the white bin Items from the white container are to be disposed of in the sharp pit. Disposal for the blue bin All the waste from the blue bin is to be first disinfected and then sent to the recycler. Health hazards caused by incorrect disposal of biomedical waste can be avoided if all these steps are followed correctly. <laughs>